A DSM prediction method is an algorithm of set of procedures which are often based on some statistical theory and which can be used to predict soil properties and or classes over some area of interest. A DSM comparison is a proposal for an academic exercise, a virtual or physical workshop where everyone in the world could submit their DSM prediction methods and compete for a sort of award of professional acknowledgement. This term was first time proposed by Bob Macmillan in 2009. There is now an increasing interest in DSM comparisons because this is also one of the main tasks of the Global Sum Up Net project, and that is to suggest methods for operation global soil mapping. The key question in hand of any digital soil mapper today is whether there is a single DSM method that outperforms competitors in a diversity of landscapes. Another synonym for DSM comparison is DSM Olympics, sort of professional competition between researchers and research groups. Main inspirations for DSM comparisons are the spatial interpolation comparison exercises run a few years ago by Gregor Dubois and colleagues from GRC ISPRA. Main objective of the DSM comparison is to review the field of digital soil mapping and determine universal methods that are potentially more successful for mapping soil properties and classes. We then intend to publish the results of the DSM comparison and report to the community. The same way results of the SICK exercise have been published and available we are publicly accessible websites. In the case of spatial interpolation comparison, the participants were asked to estimate values of some target variable at 1,000 new locations using 200 known observations. After submitting their predictions, the SIG organizers derived mapping accuracy by comparing the predicted versus measured values at 1,000 new locations. The results confirmed that geostatistical techniques are in general more robust and in general outperform techniques such as splines, neural networks, and other non-geostatistical methods. Here we propose to set up a comprehensive international exercise that should include five to six study areas at different scales, different dominance or forming factors, then invite the participants to map three to four soil properties following the global sum of net specifications, but also to try to map one to two soil categorical variables, and then we will evaluate the results using standard comparison criteria. We propose the following six comparison criteria. For more information about each comparison criteria, please refer to the conference paper. We have started preparing case studies and sample data sets that can be used for the purpose of DSM comparison. The intention is to prepare and distribute each data set via the GC package for R. The advantage of preparing and documenting data sets in R is that one can then easily operationalize DSM methods. R is also an open source platform for programming so there are no limitations considering the access level and reproducibility. We have finished preparing three out of six data sets, and as soon as all the data sets are ready, we intend to invite the whole DSM community to participate in the DSM comparison. We can continue, you can continuously follow distributed data sets and functions to this package via the package URL, gc.rforgerproject.org. Here with I would also like to thank uh, my colleagues from the United States, John Hempel and Zamir Libohova, for helping me prepare the U.S. data set, and my colleagues from uh, Isrik Wageningen, and Gerard Huberling, and Nathan Ogers and Jim Thompson from West Virginia University for co-authoring the paper. I would also like to thank Morgan Greve and Eliane de Souza for contributing the data sets for Denmark and Brazil. Thank you. <laughs>